Hey guys, so I think I just show you real quick how to do uh, this thin plate spline motion model. I guess the you know tutorials it's all the rage, right? So <laughs> go get up here. I'll put the links in the in the description. Go here. This is where you go to get it. <laughs> Read this pretty stuff, right? Look at that. Nice. All right. Click here. Boom. All right. We're going to go to Colab. Let's do this. Click that. Well, I generally do this. This is fine. And this is just starting from there fresh. Uh, Fresh Jupiter notebook. <laughs> Couldn't be easier. I'm sure you can read this stuff yourself. So, what's going to happen is let's just bring this over here. When we're done, you can end up with something. I didn't even upscale or anything. But here, let's. <laughs> there you go. Alright, let's go do it. <laughs> Alright. So they have this. Let's do that, yeah. Come in here. Check out assets. This is where you're going to want to put your stuff. All right. So the source PNG here. So I'm just going to go over and grab a picture. Real quick. Sorry about that. Gonna drag it over here into assets. All right, that's fine. I'm gonna rename it something I can remember. All right, this one. All right, now let's just change this over here. That's one. Leave that jiving the same. Generated. You might want to. You know, generated as one, and as you can see, we've got this here, which is the mode. We've got the data set name here, and false here, which is really kind of the ones you're gonna end up playing with when you do this. <coughs> but uh, yeah, let's set this to true. I'm gonna pass ones in there, right? Collecting face alignment. <laughs> Watch this, this is great. So now we should have <laughs> Jack Chan next to your character. And it's not doing anything, right? That's fine. Let's just do that. Hit the button. <laughs> it really couldn't get any easier. Um, this isn't integrated into anything like Deform yet or uh, Automatic 11.11 that I'm aware of. Um, you could certainly use it for... Um, training, making alternate training data, or if you want to clean your images up, if you can run them also directly through uh, video input into forum. Uh, and if you set your strength levels down reasonable enough, or rather, yeah, I think that's just the demo. Um, uh, you can 
clean up a lot of that noise and generate new alternatives to your stuff. You don't need to go too crazy with uh, trying to clean them up. I won't go up into that in this video. It's really just an iterative process and both running it through the forum. <coughs> video input <clears throat> or as others have said in reddit you can select different uh, uh, frames that look really nice and try to do some image damage stuff on them and then train those in by a um, dream booth or something similar uh, I haven't done that um, I've been training these with the same starter images for six months <laughs> uh, they're printed out and on my fridge for uh, actually the model that we're using that created this image here which we're about to animate and look at this look how fast this goes this is completely ridiculous <laughs> and here you're gonna get your output in a moment there you go input image Jackie Chan looking like he's telling you how to, I don't know, brush your teeth or have a good day or something. I don't know. And then SC 117-2022, trying to talk like Jackie Chan. And that one doesn't look so great. Um, we could go back through and run through, change it, and I'll do this real fast. It's super easy. So. Just go back up here. Let's change. I'm going to leave that alone. You can change them to any of these. They all have, you know, with the different ones up here. And then changing between these guys. AVD is really interesting. Um, so I'll do like AVD. Let's do S1 box AVD. All right. And then let's just go. Um, oh, your video's right here, so there, go like that, download, yeah. Here's what we got. All right, um... Now we just ran this again with these new settings here. Let's do this. It really couldn't get much easier. Make sure you change the name of your output file up here. So just keep in mind these here. And you can change your video, your, your source video as well. Um, don't go too wild with it. Uh, if it's really long, it's, it, well, actually, it, it, I haven't gotten it to crash yet, but uh, you don't really want to sift through all that stuff. Try to make some reasonably short or find some reasonably short animations that matter or that make sense. You know, Jackie Chan is really great. Uh, seems to translate well. That guy is everywhere. Uh, and uh, all right, we're doing it again with the AVD. Let's go ahead and let that happen. Does the same thing, so now it's ready to get doing its thing. Hit this again. Now, um, this is probably cost, all right, so 1.96 units an hour. So, and 100 units is 10 bucks. So, you know. 20 cents an hour or something like that. At least I hope that's how it works. <laughs> All right, here you go. That's AVD. And you see this is a wholly different type of output. And it'll take a second for this the um, video to show up over here. It's just be patient. It will show up. There we go.
And there you are. Uh, thin plates by motion motto from well, Jack Chan and an image uh, from the circus. This came out of a uh, uh, custom model built now on top of the uh, runways stable diffusion 1.5 EMA. Um, and, right, and that's the result of many different models over many different things, including disco. And uh, it's an amalgamation of automatons. <laughs> and yeah, enjoy yourself and uh, check out the Steampunk Circus on uh, it's a human machine collaboration. Um, pretty wild experiment. Enjoy oh, yeah, fun. And uh, I'll put the links and stuff in the description.